Hey, how do you know, neighbor? Guess what we're having today? We are having field rat. Yes. Remember I showed you those, uh, my new invention of the rat trap? It works. And yes, I've been saving some rats. Yeah. And you can eat rats, too. You know why? Because they got, they're very high in protein. Um, very big uh, dish over in India. And... Of course, uh, have you ever seen uh, Andy Zimmer? He's always eating that bizarre foods and stuff. Well, yes, you can eat rats too. You can. Uh, you, you ever see what goats and pigs eat? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, rats belong, are with the squirrel and the chipmunk family. And uh, you don't see anybody going, Ugh. You're going to eat that squirrel? Rat is no different. And here's some of the rat meat I got. Uh, I was uh, getting kind of some of the stuff off. Look at that. That's that back leg off that nice big male rat I got. Yeah. He was a, he was a nice big male. And of course we got some nice little torso morsels of uh, some front legs and some back straps. And, Oh yeah, and I cooked me up some beans, uh, soaked me up some uh, red kidney beans, because back in the day, this is what people ate, and this is what I'm having today. So, got my beans cooking, of course I soaked them. kept them in their own juices. So if you wanna, so I kept them in their own juices. See, it makes a nice gravy. You know, you just filter out all that uh, dirt and stuff. Look at them, nice old beans. Yeah, we're having rats and beans. So now I'm gonna take my rat meat, towards morsels that they are. Believe me, people, you would love this. And I'm not talking I'm not talking a sewer rat that you would eat. You know, a sewer rat. Those are just disgusting. You want a, a field rat that has been living, of course, in a field and or in a farm environment where they are strictly eating nuts, corn, yeah. But back in the day, this was what people ate. And this is what I'm having today. I'm going to let that heat up a little bit. This is going to be good. Yeah, back in the day, uh, you know, back in the old days, you know, when they didn't have cars and telephones and light bulbs and all that kind of stuff, this is what they had. They ate possum, skunk, raccoons, muskrat, beaver, rats, mice. Yeah, back in the service when I was out in uh, the desert, we would, uh, rats out there and we would uh, eat them. Why? We had to survive. You know, I was in the, I was in the military. You learned how to do this stuff. And believe it or not, and some of you know I do raise my crawlers. And yes, you can eat them. There, look at that. My, my meat's going to be warmed up here pretty soon. I got my bowl ready. I got my spoon. We're going to... I'm going to have this with some crackers. I was going to make some cornbread, but I... 
I just didn't have the time. Cornbread would have went perfect with this dish. Oh yeah. I don't have my beans. Yeah, I'm cooking because I don't want them all mushy. Just warming this up. There. People were having rats and beans right here today. Look at that. Let me uh, scoop them out in a bowl for us. You're not going to get a better meal than that. Right there. Beans and rats. People, don't knock it until you try it. Let me tell you, you'll love it. Hey, you all take care. Bye-bye then.